Hey everybody, welcome back to Just My Two Cents. I'm super excited to be back with another video. So for today's video, we will actually be doing an update on me being with Consumer Cellular for one year. Actually, it's been a little over one year, but I really wanted to do this video to let you all know some of the pros and cons of being an actual consumer with this particular company. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with the pros. One of the pros for me includes consumer cellular having really low prices that are affordable for people of all income levels. Another great thing about them having low prices is that you could pay as low as $25 a month for a phone line that includes unlimited talk and text. And if you decided that you wanted data, you could also get that too for a very low price. I have really enjoyed having these low prices and one of the perks of being a consumer cellular customer is that the same phone plans that I mentioned in my previous video are still the same phone plans that they still have today. Another cool thing about Consumer Cellular 2 is the flexible monthly plans. I have really enjoyed not having a contract with Consumer Cellular. Also, because I don't have a contract, I can either go up in my data each month or I can go down in the amount of data that I want. Another thing also is that there are no overage fees. So even if it's a month where I go over, let's say 10 gigabytes for that month, and if I happen to use 12 or 15, Consumer Cellular will automatically up my usage and not have me to pay any type of overage fees. Another pro for me is the usage alerts. If I happen to get close to my data limit for that particular month, Consumer Cellular will actually send me a text message as well as an email telling me that, hey, you're getting close to your usage alert for your data this month, consider going up to another plan. Also with this particular usage alert, I do want to note that if you were to sign into your consumer cellular account, you will be able to see what your projected data usage for that month is. Also, so, Consumer Cellular has a variety of devices. So if you are a person who enjoys iPhones and Apple products, they do have a lot of iPhones for you to choose from. I believe right now they have the iPhone 13, the iPhone 12, the iPhone 11, as well as the iPhone SE. They also have different Android products and they do have the flip phone for those who might just want to use the phone just to call people or to do basic texts. So they do have those options for people. Also, another great part about Consumer Cellular is that they do have Easy Pay. Easy Pay has been a phenomenal thing that I have been able to use with Consumer Cellular. So long story short, Back in December of last year, I happened to break my phone and then with Easy Pay, I was able to get the latest iPhone through Easy Pay, pay on it over the last couple of months. I end up paying off my phone early, thankfully. However, they do give you 24 months to pay off your phone with a very manageable bill. Also with Easy Pay, I also wanted to mention how fast Consumer Cellular sends out things. So when I was signing up with Consumer Cellular, they sent my Sims cards really fast. I believe they sent seven business days, but I believe I got those in about two to three days, maybe three or four days around that time frame. However, with my phone, I was able to order that one day and they actually delivered it the next day. So let's jump into some of the cons. So some of the cons of being a consumer with Consumer Cellular entails, first, they say they have nationwide coverage, which is very true. They do have nationwide coverage. However, with the nationwide coverage, you will only have two options. So you would either use T-Mobile 
towers or you will use the AT&T towers. And usually it's whatever towers that are closest to you, which you will use. So you don't have the option to pick which towers you get to use. They kind of pick that for you. So if you're not a fan of T-Mobile and you happen to be near T-Mobile towers, then pretty much you will not have a choice. Another con was that when I joined Consumer Cellular, I noticed that at first, the first couple of months, there was a lag time in call time. So for instance, if I was calling, let's say a friend, I would see the phone call, but it will be maybe at 10 seconds or 15 seconds when the actual phone would start like ringing and dialing that person. So another con is that the invoice can sometimes be a little unclear. With Consumer Cellular, with their invoices, they break down every charge so that you know exactly what you're being charged for and how much it is, which is an awesome thing. However, sometimes it can be unclear as to how all the charges can stack up and then how they get to their price. Or if you have somebody else on your particular phone line, it can be a little wonky to see how their bill is a part of your bill, it can be very confusing to the point to where it's confusing for the customer as well as the customer service representative. And one time I actually had to call Consumer Cellular to have them explain some stuff to me because I had paid for the service as well as I had paid off my easy pay plan. And for some reason, the invoice wasn't reflecting some of the things it should have been reflecting um, that had already been paid for. And it took two consumer cellular representatives to get down to the bottom of it to make sure that everything was set right. Also, one of the other things that is important to note too is that if you do get a consumer cellular phone, some of the features are turned off. So for instance, when I got my cell phone, even when I transferred over to their plan last year, my voicemail was automatically cut off as well as my hotspot. So I had to call them to say like, hey, can you cut my voicemail back on as well as my hotspot? And when I say cut my voicemail back on, I simply mean that I did not have the autonomy to go into my voicemail to do a personalized voicemail. I had only the option at that particular time to just use the default voicemail, which I didn't want to use. So I gave them a call. They were able to just with a click of the button, turn it back on and give me the autonomy to go and personalize my voicemail. Also with my hotspot, they had that automatically turned off too. I'm not sure why, but I turned my hotspot back on and I was able to use it from there. I think they probably do that because with a lot of their customers, they are older. So they want to make sure that people aren't taking advantage of them by using their hotspot and they not know that their hotspot is being used, which can drive their data and so forth. So I can understand that, but I do want you all to be aware of that too. And lastly, it's also important to note that a lot of their popular phones do go out of stock really fast. When I say fast, I mean really fast. So if you do know that you want to get the iPhone 13 or whatever might be new if you have an Android, then definitely be on the lookout for that on their website. And even if you don't have all the money to pay for the phone up front, you can definitely do the easy pay. The easy pay is really simple to use. It's really simple to set up and they have really low installments. So definitely check that out. But overall, I would definitely recommend Consumer Cellular. I would definitely say that Consumer Cellular is a company that I enjoy. I enjoy the service. I enjoy the customer service aspect of the individuals who work there. And I enjoy the autonomy to be able to just have a month to month type of contract rather than a six month or 12 month long contract. So if you're in the market for a new phone company, definitely check Consumer Cellular out. Until next time, make sure that you like, you share, and you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.